Hello there, this is Joe Barnes with another quick tip and I get asked quite a lot how to set up Aweber accounts and lists and emails and stuff like that so I'm going to make a few videos on the different things you can do with Aweber. Now we just set up a brand new second account about two weeks ago um, and that's the one I'm going to be using here. So the first thing you do when you come into Aweber, you'll probably have absolutely nothing here on this page, is you're going to go into create and manage lists. That's what we're going to do first. We're actually going to build a list of people. OK, so you're going to cl click on this big green button here, create a list. And then the first thing you're going to do is put in your basic information. So the name of your list, the description of your list, your contact address. If you want to, you can put in your notification to be told every single time you get a new subscriber. And then you just simply click save settings. Now, for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to skip uh, section two. It's not as important as going to section three, which is your confirmed opt-in. This is the message people will get if you leave confirmed opt-in on. This basically means that people will opt into your list and they will then get a confirmation message and they'll have to click the link below in order to then get your free gift, etc. It's entirely up to you if you leave this on or off. It's the difference between single or double opt-in turn it off you simply click this button down here I want to turn it off and you'd click yes you can to leave it on then you would obviously just fill in this section here then once you filled out this section here what would go in here is the URL to where they're going to go after they've clicked this link so just imagine your opt-in funnel they've put their name and their email address and the idea is that you want them to go to a page with your free gift download etc but what they've got to do is they've got to confirm first okay so let them confirm but then where do they go after they've confirmed that's the URL that goes in here okay and then when you've done that you simply click save settings now essentially that's the basics of your list set up but there are there is one other thing that you must do before you leave this list is you need to come over to messages and click on follow up series and then within here you need to create your first follow up message now I'll show you how to actually create a message in Aweber in a different e uh, different video but I but I just wanted to add into this video that you must go and create this message um, before you get anybody to opt into your list because if you don't then when they've opted in if you put any follow up messages in here to send out to them automatically they won't get them you will have to ring Aweber and get them to uh, kind of sign up for it get Aweber to do it for you um, so you must add this follow-up message to ensure that they get their first message from you. And this follow-up message will just say something like, hey, thanks so much for signing up to my list. I look forward to uh, working with you and sending you lots of fantastic information. And that's the basics of setting up your list in Aweber. The next steps are to create great messages, add sign-up forms, um, and uh, do all that kind of stuff. So we'll do that in other videos. Thanks for listening. Oh, 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 oh,